All right, so when I mention the Giants, what football player um, comes to mind? Yeah. Eli Manning, Peyton yeah. Manning. OBJ, Eli Manning, those are mm -hmm. popular choices. So I'm going to talk about Eli Manning. Uh, so Eli Manning, uh, he's my favorite football player. Um, he's also been um, one of the uh, best players with the Giants over the last um, 12 years. Not only has he been a great player for the Giants, but he's also been a great player in the NFL in that span. Uh, so. Uh, Eli's been very durable. He's had a lot of postseason success, and when the game is on the line, he knows how to win. And for those reasons, I believe Eli Manning should be a Hall of Famer. And um, before I get into uh, why, uh, more detail on those reasons, let me just give you a little bit of background on Eli. So, Eli Manning he played quarterback in college at Ole Miss. He was drafted first overall in the 2004 NFL Draft. And he actually, he wasn't drafted by the New York Giants. He was drafted by the San Diego Chargers. And uh, Giants fan at the time, Ernie Acorsi, uh, decided that Eli Manning was a great player and he really wanted him to be a Giant. So he traded Philip Rivers and some other draft picks in order to acquire Eli Manning. And so Eli was traded to the Giants and he ended up never playing a snap for the Chargers. And since that trade, Eli Manning has been quarterback of the Giants ever since. Uh, so Eli Manning, he's also, he also has an older brother. Peyton Manning, this is his older brother right there. So having Peyton as his older brother has kind of been a blessing and a curse for Eli. Uh, it's a blessing because Peyton's able to give him a lot of good advice. Uh, they talk a lot of football together. This picture was actually taken yesterday. Uh, Peyton came to visit the Giants at practice yesterday and gave the Giants a little bit of some tips on how to attack the Steelers. So Peyton's definitely very good at giving Eli advice. But um, it's also a little bit of a curse having Peyton as his older brother because a lot of times, Eli gets compared to his older brother, Peyton. Uh, Peyton is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Uh, he has all the stats. He's won MVPs. He's led the league um, in touchdown passes multiple seasons. Um, so Eli constantly gets compared to Peyton. And I feel like if Eli's last name was something like Smith or Davis, he wouldn't get compared to Peyton as much, and people would give him more credit. But a lot of times, because his last name is Manning, people say, oh, he's not as good as his brother. He's, um, he's overrated, blah, 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 but um, he's really, Eli, he's really more than just his stats. Uh, uh, one stat that the media likes to like, attack him on is that he, he's led the league in interceptions. He's done that twice, but he's not the only great quarterback to have that um, distinction. So this is Brett Favre. Um, Brett Favre was a great quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. He, like Eli Manning, also led the league in interceptions multiple times. And Brett Favre is a Hall of Famer. Um, another thing about Brett Favre is he was very durable. Uh, he has the NFL record for most consecutive starts with 297. And the quarterback right now who has that um, the longest active streak uh, is Eli Manning with 194 consecutive starts. Uh, so Eli Manning, very durable. He hasn't missed a start in his entire career. Uh, he had his first start on November 21st, 2004. Um, and to give you a little bit of perspective, uh, since Eli Manning had his first start, the Cleveland Browns have started 22 different quarterbacks. So, <laughs> yeah, so Eli Manning has been around for a long time. Uh, so, because he's so durable, um, in order to be so durable, you have to be pretty tough. So I'm going to show you um, a little video that displays Eli's tough. Yeah, so this is in the NFC Championship game. Um, so you can see in this play, Eli's under pressure. He, he gets hit pretty hard, but he still gets the pass off, completes it. And he has the awareness to call time out, even though like, his pads are all messed up. Um, yeah, so Eli, definitely very tough. Um, so this game was actually in the 2011 NFC Championship game. Um, Giants would win that game. Uh, so Eli, um, that was one of his seven road playoff wins in his career. So he definitely knows how to get it done in the postseason. Uh, in the 2007 season, he led the Giants into um, Lambeau Field in sub-zero temperatures, led them to a road playoff win. He also knocked off the undefeated New England Patriots in that season. In 2011, he beat the 49ers, um, won a very tough defense in their house, and also beat the Patriots. And during both of those Super Bowl runs, uh, Eli Manning in both Super Bowls 
led the Giants to a game-winning touchdown drive to take the lead with under a minute to play. Uh, so Eli Manning, he's had a knack for doing that in his career. He's very good at um, leading the Giants down the field for game-winning scores. So here um, is another video that shows um, how Eli's clutch <laughs> it matters the most. Um, so this is taken um, during the 2012 regular season, you can see, um, against the Redskins, Eli delivers a perfect ball to Victor Cruz, who takes to the house. Um, so the Giants would go on to win this game 27-23. And this was one of Eli's 38 career um, game-winning drives. So in Eli's career, he's at, um, he's at 38 career game-winning touchdown drives. And that is actually seventh all time. Uh, so that's pretty good. So if there's ever a situation in the game with two minutes to go and your team's down by a touchdown, I, you would want Eli Manning to be your quarterback to lead you in victory. Because he does have a good run. Uh, so to sum it up, Eli Manning, he may not um, put up those big numbers that um, people look for, but He's a winner. He knows, he knows how to get it done when it matters the most. He's had postseason success, and he's been the face of the New York Giants for the last 12 years, and he's had a lot of success with them. Uh, so the day will come when Eli Manning sadly retires, and it'll be a very sad day for Giants fans. But to quote the great Dr. Seuss, uh, don't cry because it's over, smile because it's happy. I'm sure glad that Eli Manning is happy. He's been great for the Giants, and I hope that by the end of his career, he ends up in